In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to create your own presets in Adobe Lightroom 2021. Downloading and purchasing presets are a popular thing in the Adobe Lightroom community for people that want to just have automatic edits that look really awesome on their photos. But did you know that you also can create your own presets within Lightroom? It's very easy to do. So first thing is first, we've got the photo here that I want to create a preset with. What I did is I just added a lot of saturation, played with the highlights and tones, brightened up the foreground here and I want to apply that to other photos that I have in the future so I want to save this as a preset and we're going to call it sunset orange so first things first is how do you access that you go up here to the levels tool down here at the bottom you will see presets and in here you go up to the top and right here you see three dots if you select those you have create preset select that and right here it's very easily you can name your preset and it'll select the edits that you have here on the right that are already done so it'll save those in the preset so we're going to call this sunset orange like i just said and everything looks good here so i'm just going to hit save and right there is how you create a preset very easily in Right here, it shows under user presets, our sunset orange. So now if I go to another photo, so I found a shot here that we can try our sunset orange preset on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the levels tool, scroll down to presets and select sunset orange. And as you can see, I applied it and it applied that sunset orange preset to the photo. And it is basically, if we go to our levels area, it is the same exact edits taken from the original photo, which is right here. And if we go back to the levels area, same exact edits. So that is how you create presets. And that is also how you can apply the presets you created to your other existing photos. But I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, definitely give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new tutorials here on the channel. I also create cinematic videos and all sorts of drone content. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around. I'll see you guys in the next one.